Hello, Pisces. Hello, my loves. How are you? I hope you guys are well. So, oh, downloads, downloads. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Spirit, hold on. Um, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Pisces, I hope you guys are well. I am in deep, deep gratitude for you guys being here today. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am a clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I do offer mediumship based readings, you guys. Um, those are priced a little bit differently. So definitely take a look um, in the description box. I have a full bio about my style of reading. Check out my Instagram as well for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings on there. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there, okay? Um, I also post uh, manifestation tips. I post um, spiritual tips, like a bunch of cool stuff, okay? Also, uh, Pisces, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. For those of you who have donated to my channel, thank you so much. Please continue to do so, so I can continue my pick a card readings. I do have my Amazon wish list at the bottom. I also have my, um, independent deck wish list. And if you guys are interested in, in feeling generous in that, I can give you a shipping address for that. And for those of you who have already donated again thank you i am in such deep gratitude i appreciate you guys also um please give me some time to respond if you are trying to book a personal reading okay all right love in general for you pisces let's see what's happening my loves wow okay like i said as soon as i started channeling spirit was like Drrr. we have the hierophant here unity so there's going to be an awakening for you guys as soon as we move into April about your life purpose, about your soul mission. There's going to be an enormous amount of energy surrounding, I'm hearing movement, a move. Some of you guys are actually guided by the wolf totem right now. The wolf totem is your totem right now. The element of fire. Wow. Some of you guys, I'm hearing a master plan. You are designing a complete new creation. You, This is behind the scenes. I don't think anyone really knows that you have been behind the scenes creating something new, creating a new project. There's been a lot of movement in terms of your intuition, your power. Some of you guys are going to school to be, or you're going to a training to be a, um, a psychic, a clairvoyant, or you're working on your clairvoyant skills. You're working on your spiritual skills. I feel like there's a dedication here to being a healer, a spiritualist, a teacher. Some of you guys are deciding to move into a deeper form of spirituality. There's a lot of crown chakra energy. I'm feeling my crown tingle, like my head, it's tingling. So there's an awakening of a lot of power for you. There's a lot of power here for you. And if you are not, a, you know, if you are not into your spirituality, then this is ultimately about um, your soul mission, you're being aligned with your purpose. A lot of you guys are going to be working in a place. Um, once we obviously move out of this quarantine situation, you're going to be working with children. There's a desire here to kind of, um, be a healer to kids, to children who need you, um, foster youth, um, arts, arts and crafts. There's going to be a lot of mentoring here with people around you, whether it's through, you know, Skype or whether through it's in person down the line, reaping the fruits of your benefits. Some of you guys have been incredibly frustrated about things not moving as fast as you want them to move in your life, but I'm hearing the fruits of your labor. So everything you have been doing 
will definitely manifest itself. It will, you're going to start seeing it happen for you in April. I'm having a vision of an abundant amount of fruit. So there's going to be a lot, a lot of abundance and prosperity coming your way. There's going to be a lot to be um, thankful for. Some of you guys are going to have a contract in terms of, of um, music, in terms of creativity, something different. There's going to be something different for you guys. Um, it, it's almost like you want to break out of the routine. You're tired of routine. You want to challenge yourself and you will. And you will. There's a lot of creativity coming your way. Okay. So the focus is going to be on how you move and what you give energy to. You guys are high frequency in April. So what you give energy to is what you will give life to. So if you are focused on the lack or you are focused on not having enough, this is where your life is going to go. If you're focused on the abundance and you're focused on everything you do have, this is where your life is going to go. There's a presence here of being afraid of your own divinity, afraid of your own power. You guys are, are awakening to a very powerful psychic skill here. Mediumship. Your mediumship powers are going to be off the chain. They're going to be intense. Like you're going to be seeing shit that you're going to be, excuse me, I shouldn't have cursed. Um, you're going to be seeing things that you're, you're going to be like, whoa, I just saw that. You're going to be really high frequency. You're going to be able to really connect and tune into the other world. And if that's not the case, I feel like that's a collective energy though. But I'm seeing a strong sense of purpose moving into April. Like you have made a strong decision about where you want to go. You're teaching, you're teaching children, you're nursing. There's a, a nurse school here or an educational um, institution in terms of being a healer. A lot of you guys have decided to move into the path of service. You're making this decision strong. You're going to leave everything behind. I feel like this quarantine really served you guys. I feel like it's helping you um, with your creative energy. You're deciding to tackle your dreams full force. Like it awakened the desire to, to really move, to do something different. So what are the opportunities for Pisces? Well, first you I'm hearing confronting, confronting limited beliefs, confronting what doesn't serve you, confronting the lack of awareness of your power. You're going to have to leave people behind. You're going to have, have to leave friends behind that are no longer serving you. These people, they are hindering you. They are holding you back. There's a lot of gossip about your change. The changes you want to make, people are trying to kind of distract you because they don't want you to move. They don't want you to move away from them. There are a lot of people here. You have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Sun Moon Rising, uh, a masculine and a feminine. Okay, this could be your divine counterpart, but I don't know. I'm getting a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and then we have a Leo, Sag, Aries. There's a lot of energy here, you guys. You have a lot of people in your environment. Next to the Three of Cups in Reverse, these are your people in your surroundings. This is like your community of people. This is like people in your surroundings who don't really want to... It's like these people are gossiping. Mainly, I feel like you have strong, strong people in your life. I like this Queen of Cups. I like this King of Cups. This earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, you need to remove yourself from them. They're, they're not really in alignment with you. They, they are not, they're not happy for your success. They're not happy for your growth. You know, Leo, Sag, Aries is fine, but I feel like a lot of you guys, there's such a need to kind of purge your, your, your friendship circle. A lot of people are just pulling you away from your soul mission because they're selfish and they don't want to lose you. A lot of you guys have been the, um, you know, you've been the supporting actress or the supporting actor this whole time. And now that you want to step into your power, your full power, people are like resenting that. They're resenting that you no longer want to sit there and applaud for them. They see the opportunities that are coming your way and there's just too, a lot of chatter. There's a lot of this and that. The king, 
Leo Sag Aries, this person is your strength. This is going to be your stand strong with me energy, okay? This person is very, very, very supportive of you. The reason why people are talking so much and the reason why people have a lot to say is because you're about to step into your power with your harvest. You're going to be very confident. You have a lot of money coming in and you may have a, home, a, a relocation, a new home. You're buying property. There's an opportunity here to expand your money, your finances. There's going to be big, big changes. And I feel like, again, like a lot of people can't really handle that. They can't handle it when you change. Your true friends will see your elevation and they will applaud you. And they will tell you how proud they are that you're growing. But if these people are not growing, how are they going to applaud you when you're doing better than them or what they perceive is better? You see where the competition begins? With the eight of, of pentacles in reverse, this talks about not doing the same thing over and over. You're afraid. You're afraid of your stability and your legacy, but trust, you're breaking out of old cycles, okay? Let's talk about love, Pisces. Let's talk about that love sign. <laughs> love sign. Cupid's arrow. Some of you guys are meeting somebody really, 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 oh, I'm hearing intense. I'm hearing sexual compatibility. There's a lot of sex happening for you guys. Wow. Okay death and rebirth what's happening for Pisces love yeah you guys are starting over a lot of you guys are starting over from scratch I'm having a vision of a blank canvas you're starting your art from scratch um, ace of cups in reverse and love there's repressed repressed memories is what I'm hearing repressed emotions repressed just feelings of nostalgia you miss someone from the past especially a Gemini you really miss a Gemini here or a Gemini misses you there's been a lot of push-pull with this connection I feel like this is a very karmic connection a lot of you guys are healing but it's like you're still holding back you're holding back a lot of your healing process. I feel like an offer wants to come in, but an offer can't come in if you guys are blocking it. This is about self-fulfillment right now. This is your cycle. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this is saying that in love, you're having to revisit an, an, an old cycle. You're going back. You're going back for the sake of healing it so you can move forward, okay? You need to heal, especially from an air sign. Sorry, you guys. Pisces in love. Pisces in love. Release. 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 Let it go. Let it go. You just got to let it go. I'm having a vision of a rose. A rose withering here for Pisces. This is a representation of you letting, letting it go letting it die and I know it hurts it hurts because it hurts me I can feel your energy I know it's not easy to let this person go and I think you'll know who I'm talking about but in order to claim a new a new cycle you have to allow it to be what it is allow it to transform you have a Capricorn Taurus Virgo coming in there's going to be a lot of love from this person. I feel a lot of dedication. It's just slow. Pisces in love. Pisces in love. April 15th. There is a fire sign, young fire sign in their 20s. Uh, Leo Sag Aries, please do not invest in something that does not feel honest. Use your intuition about this person because they are being very deceptive. This is your one night stand kind of person. Okay. So don't fall for, yeah, they are not able to commit to you. So don't fall for empty promises. Okay. I see a lot of building. 
and matters of love. I see a lot of building. There's going to be um, a lot of, wow, yeah. Some of you guys are really, really, really attracted to an earth sign here. There's an earth sign that's got you going crazy. There's a lot of passion. This person feels like home. This earth sign really feels like home to you. There's a lot of touching. You guys touch a lot. There's a lot of like physical with all that fire energy. Hell yeah. There's, there's, listen, you're gonna, you're really gonna grow in April with an earth sign. So this is looking beautiful for you. I feel like this earth energy is gonna reciprocate a lot of the love that no one else did. I also see uh, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius um, coming in with an offer. They're coming in a little flirty though. They're coming in a little like, yeah, this person, you might need to, you might need to, <laughs> This person has a really hard time with their emotions. They don't know how to surrender to their emotions. So just be careful with an, an air sign because they're having a really hard time, like really exposing their truth. So you could, you know, give that one time, give that one time to manifest itself. What is the advice for you, Pisces, April 1st through the 15th? So bring all the love that you've been giving to other people in April back to yourself first and then outward. There's this thing about receptivity for you guys in April that needs to happen. Otherwise, you're going to feel resentful that you're not getting what you feel you deserve. Pour your cup first. Fill, excuse me. Fill your cup first. Then you can serve other people. You need to bring it back in so that you are not... Um, emptying out to the point where you become resentful. Okay. You don't want to become resentful. So it's important for you to completely give to yourself, honor yourself. You are divine. Like everything about you is worth giving to yourself first. Okay. Capricorn energy here. They absolutely are in love with you. So please don't doubt it. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person might be definitely a little cold, definitely a little distant, definitely a little detached at first. Give them time. They really like you. Give them time. Okay. Bye. Hope that helped.